Alright, hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Off Grid Arcade trailer. Give me some tea. I am in Starship Simulator. Uh, this is Alpha Build uh, version 0.224.0.29. This game is completely free. Um, let me aim this camera over a little bit. But, um,. Uh, I've just I just downloaded it. It's about two two gigabytes, two and a half gig. I downloaded it, um, installed it, and I ran the tutorial on how to run the the uh, wow the the flight deck, basically the commands deck. Um, that's all I did. Uh, so I'm very new to the game, uh, and I'm going to just go in here. Uh, you can see right here you get a Magellan class ship coming soon on these. From what I understand, uh, these might be DLCs to get the other ships, or he might just... The game's going to be free forever, from what I understand. Um, so you can play it. Um, it is in alpha state, though. This is in alpha state, so some of the stuff is not uh, working the way they intended to at the end of the day, but... Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to go with the crew complement, full crew, and the, the ship is ready to go. I'm not going to, I didn't do the uh, tutorial on how to start the engines and all that stuff. So I basically just know the very basics on how to maneuver the ship. Um, so let's see what happens. Let's launch. We will load this Magellan class. Neat looking ship. Warning, the game can change flashing lights. Uh, this is a multiplayer game. So, uh, you, you can play this and different people can take different commands. Let's see. Uh, it said a new person has entered the ship. That's my shadow right there. Don't freak out. So where's this new where's this no new person at? I don't know. But apparently that's the uh, ready room back there. That's it. Oh, I don't like running. All right, so we are sitting here. I guess uh, we're just right here around Earth. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where that crew person was. If I'm supposed to go meet them, but uh, let's come down here, sit down, and let's do a star system scan. And so this this will tell you there are ten sensors, counting the sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Ceres. You can go to Ceres. If you go to Ceres, everyone else probably goes to one of the big ones. Let's go to Ceres. Uh, if it doesn't have any target information, then you would scan the target here. But we already have it. Let's see, what does it say? A dwarf planet with little to no atmosphere orbits at average distance of 2.77 AU around the Sun. AU is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, the average distance. Astronomical unit. Sirius has a radius of 470 kilometers and typical surface temperature of 110 Kelvin. Sirius was first discovered in 1801. It was named after the Roman goddess of agriculture. Let's send this to the helm. And uh, let's go over there. Let's go to the helm here. I'll take a seat and we are going to use the sensor target and let's see we're gonna go ahead and engage the autopilot that will swing us around I did notice in the tutorial um, <laughs> it sent me right through a planet so I don't know if that's something that they're going to uh, work on or if it's something that let's see 
I have not messed with this stuff at all. Let's let's roll right. Oh, not roll right. We want a y'all right. Did it stop? Is it only do one? I don't know the keyboard commands for the. Let's see. You can do this. F four. Helm key bindings. Okay, so the, the number pad. You can use the number pad for that. Let's see. Let's get rid of this and uh, let's see if that works. Yeah, there we go. Let's go over here. And let's get on the other side of the earth here. And how do you... This is all, uh, this is the faster than light. This is the uh, warp drive is how it, you, how it works. And what is the, just the regular, I don't know. Was it on there? Let's see. What is the regular throttle? Okay. Plus or minus. Okay. Oh, turn that off. Let's let's get to where I'm looking out the window. Okay, so maybe maybe you can do it this way. Let's see. Okay, and then if you engage faster than light. So. All right. Uh, let's go full. Full impulse power, Mr. Sulu. We are not moving very fast. Do I have let's see. Yeah, it's we're not we're not moving anywhere. How do I make this ship move? Because that's all faster than light. Sublight engines. How do I turn on the sublight engines? That was not part of the... Uh, that was not part of the tutorial. Huh. Yeah, there's no sublight engine in here. Well, we're learning. We are learning here. And for all I know, uh, maybe that's not working right now. Maybe you have to use the because it is an alpha. That doesn't do any. Oh, that's, yeah, well, that is doing something. That's tipping me. So I can tip over. That's changing the no oh, the plus was working. Alright, never mind. Okay, let's go ahead and engage the autopilot. We'll turn towards the target and I'm just gonna I'm just going to uh, go ahead and We're just going to go right through the planet. Because apparently I don't know how to, uh, I don't know how to use the uh, sublight speed engines. 
I just said at 45%, I don't know how to, I don't know what's going to happen when we get close to this thing. It looks like it's automatically lowering the power. You can see our range. So that thing is just looking like a all right, we have arrived. Let's get out of here, out of the chair. I don't even know. I'm sure there's an observation deck you can go to. There's Saturn. There's Uranus. Uh oh, Bernard Star. You can yeah, you can go to other star systems in this, but. Uh, I'm not really sure what my mission is, if I have a mission. I don't know. Or if we're just like in a free, you know, free play, run around. I thought I was going to be assigned a mission. Our control boards over here. Oh, you can turn it on. Yeah, because this thing will have. I don't know what all is available. I I could be, in, I could be in trouble. Uh, you will have aliens that you will discover. Um, test disco mode. <laughs> Work in progress. But here you can see the star system map. Uh, let's get out of there. Let's. Let's go back, I think, over here. Yeah, this is the captain's office. Because I, I watched someone else play. Um, And he went in there. He, he changed the orientation of his ship so that you could see the planet out the window. Well, I don't know if you can control that elevator or you just kind of go, this is like a little lounge area. Let's see what happens. Let's go in this thing. This is B deck. Okay, it says it right up there. Dogs are outside wrestling. This is a keyboard and mouse game. Oh, I'm going to get stuck under the steps. I haven't seen any crewmen yet. doesn't have anything all right let's go back up to the command deck I, I'm going to ex explore the ship on my own uh, you guys don't want to watch me doing that but while we're here I'm gonna go ahead and let's go see something a little nicer than a little nicer than series You can't run. I just didn't want to run. I don't like running. All right. Let's go out to Saturn. You know we had to do it. Send that to Helm. We will use the sensor target. Engage the autopilot. And let's uh, engage. Come back here in the captain's chair. I don't like the captain's chair though, because it's it's behind that stupid little map thing. So we'll just get a good view here out the front window. You can see it's gonna take us two minutes, one minute. We're hauling ass now, look at this go. Look at us go. Wow. Let's 
come back over here. Let's get back in the chair and... This is what that other gentleman had done. He went like this. He turned the, the ship this direction. And then he got out and he said, yeah, let's go to the captain's office. Have a seat in the chair. Oh, I turned a little too far. You can see Saturn's rings. Oh, I got out of the chair on the wrong side. Yeah, I don't know where the, uh, can I get, uh, oh look, you can do polarization. Oh, so it's like shaded, that's cool. Scene projection. Oh, you can turn it into a, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Autumn Park, Misty Forest. Rocky Desert. There you go. Now it's like Texas. Let's turn that off though. We want to see Saturn. All right. I was looking for my uh, replicator thing. Uh, so I could tea Earl Grey hot. Get me some. Get me some hot tea. While we're sitting outside of Saturn. So it looks interesting. I don't know how the thing works. I'm not sure about how all this uh, the missions work if they're still just work in progress if you're gonna have to um, end up doing missions they'll assign you to go stuff or if it's just kind of a free-for-all go play around and uh, I'll look at the mug on the tablet can't tell is that the safety book is that the natops manual oh look at that space shuttle that's awesome tech reports huh <clears throat> so there's a lot of exploration it said it's on steam it is completely free. You can see it up in the top right corner. It says Starship Simulator. That's what you want to look at. It's just it's just a demo for now. Uh, but they said the, the developer said uh, when it comes out, it's going to be free. From what I understand, um, he's just doing it because he loves space games, and he wanted to make one. It could be DLCs later on that are uh, that will cost you. But um, it sounds to me like it'll be worth it because uh, the added content, you get the game for free. It's kind of like the pinball. You get the game for free and then you buy the tables. So, all right. Well, I'm going to mess with this. Uh, it's, it's uh, I don't know what time it is. It is like 7.30 in the morning here in Texas. Uh, it's like 72 degrees outside. It is beautiful, but I got some work to do today. So I'm just going to upload this little first run around the solar system uh, so I look forward to exploring other yeah here let me show you that let me show you that yeah let's go into there if you go into the chair here you can set your range to a further distance uh, Alpha Centauri is the closest star to us. Um, Bernard Star, I haven't gone over there yet. Then you can scan it and it'll tell you if there are planets around them. And look, that's an M class. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. This is like bonus material. Uh, use that sensor. This will tell you uh, what the coordinates are based on the galactic core. 
So that's 4450. We're in 5050. That rounds to the nearest light year. Oh, we're going to cut right through Saturn. M class. Oh, is that the star? Oh, I targeted the I targeted the star. We don't want to go right to the star, do we? Uh, okay, yeah, duh, M class star. Oh, these planets are pretty dang close to the. Pretty darn close to the planet or to the star. Let's uh, the planets are close. Let's let's send that. We'll go to one of the planets. We don't want to go right to the star. Uh, use the sensor target. Let's disengage and then re-engage. And engage the uh, faster than light. Let's get going. It's pretty cool because you can see on there the nav target, the ETA, two years that many days as we pick up speed 16 hours 8 hours 4 hours 2 hours 1 hour it's going to take about a minute we're going to take about a minute to get there let's let's uh tea time it We are hauling it. This uh, ship will go, uh, what they say? It's like three, 300 times the speed of light. And it is a uh, warp engine system, so it, it distorts space time, uh, compresses space in front of you, and expands space behind you, creating a bubble. And you just kind of motor on through then. Oh, this is cool. If you look at the power draw down here, 1.21 gigawatts. <laughs> We're only pulling one right now. Here we go. We're about 10 seconds out from this planet. It is imminent. There's the star. So the planet was on the far side of the star. And I don't know if at some point you're going to be able to, to do away missions and go down to the surface of the planet. Or if it's kind of, you know, just scanning. Oh, there we go. Scanning things. Let's let's go ahead and rotate around. Let's look at the look back at it. It's star. There's our sun. I don't know where its star is. I'm, I'm just guessing up here. Oh, there it is. It's up there. Hey, let's see how that. Uh, whoops. Let's put that star off the left side and see how that tinting works on the, <laughs> on the window in the office. Hopefully I'm pointed at it. There it is. All right, let's, uh, let's turn on that polarization. It's still pretty darn bright. <laughs> it is still pretty darn bright. All right. Turn that off. All right, so we're going to end it right here. Uh, looking at this, uh, this other sun in a whole different star system. So check it out. Starship Simulator Alpha Demo. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm, uh, I'm liking it. It's, it's, kind of calming, relaxing for right now, but 
they say there's going to be aliens or say there's going to be battles you have to do and you can be as in depth as you want you can start the engines uh, and, and start from a cold start and have to do all that engineering side of it and go down to engineering I don't even know where engineering is I haven't explored that far so yeah thanks for watching check it out and I'll uh, catch you on the next one peace